Ladies and gentle bitches, welcome back. Welcome to the channel HD Hayes. My name is Troy. And finally, today, we are diving into the brand new studio album from one of our pop princesses, Ariana Grandeski. Yes! How long has it been since we've actually tackled an Ariana Grande album? I think it's been two years since the Positions video dropped on the channel. Is she finally out of horny jail? I guess there's only one way to find out. We're gonna be diving into Eternal Sunshine. 13 tracks, 35 minutes, and 32 seconds. So short! Where's the rest of it? Producers include Aaron Paris, Ariana Grande, Davi Dior, Ilya, Luca Klosser, Maximilian Martin, Nick Lee, Ozgo, Shintaro Yusuda, and Will Lof. Where was Ariana the last time I checked in on her? She got married during COVID to her, I believe, real estate agent, questionable, and then divorced? Oh, so sad. And then started dating SpongeBob. Tons of rumors came out that she was a homewrecker, which were completely debunked a few months ago. So please, none of that bullshit in chat. We're here to listen and enjoy the music, not the drama. Divorce, oh, babes, hey. divorce. Without further ado, grab your drink, grab your snack, strap the... Brick in, baby. <laughs> We're diving into it. First track is intro. Ooh, okay. Aptly named. In uh, parentheses, end of the world. Okay, so a little, you know, uh... I mean, we're just, we're just starting, but it, but it, it is apparently already the apocalypse. Oh, the birds? Mm. How can I tell if I'm in the right relationship? Aren't you really supposed to know that shit? Feel it in your bones and own that shit. I don't know. Then we had this interaction I've been thinking about for like five weeks. Wonder if he's thinking about it too and smiling. Wonder if he knows that that's been what's inspired me. Wonder if he's judging me like I am right I now. I miss you! I don't Ooh. care. I'd rather tell the truth, truth than make it worse for you. Oh wow, the vocal stacks, come on. If the sun refused to shine, oh man. Maybe would I still be a lover? Would you want me there if the moon <sighs> went dark tonight? If the moon went dark? Wow, okay. I love her. It's already a classic. It's already a classic. Wow, sorry. Can we just talk a little bit about the fact that, like, there's already so much in-depth production with the beginning swell? Like, I know that like, the whole album is kind of centered around Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, the Jim Carrey classic film. One of my favorites. I love Jim Carrey. And I know Ariana does not play about that man. So, obviously, imagery in the first couple seconds, that big swell just feels like that whole brainwashing moment. You know what I mean? <sighs> I just can't help but feel my heart swell up when those happen with the strings. How can I tell if I'm in the right relationship? Aren't you really supposed to know that shit? Oh man, yeah. Feel it in your bones, own that shit? I don't know. Then I had this interaction that I've been thinking about for five weeks, wondering if he's thinking about it too and smiling. Oh, while you're in a relationship, it's just like you're, you're feeling, you don't know if it's the right. Oh, I'd rather tell the truth than make it worse for you. Nobody likes confrontation, nobody. If the sun refused to shine, baby, would I still be your lover? Would you want me there if the moon went dark tonight? I'm sorry, Moon Went Dark, that's an Avatar The Last Airbender reference. What the fuck is up, Zhao? If it all ended tomorrow, would I be the one on your mind? On your mind, if it all ended tomorrow, would you be the one on mine? Would you be the one on mine? Okay, mine, mind, on the mind. Bars. Oh, I missed Floiana, dude. I missed how she kind of just slides on this shit. And it's giving a little bit of like Disney princess as well. Lovely intro, only a minute and a half. The next song is Bye. Okay, uh, bye. Boy, bye? Wait, she's saying adios? 
She's leaving that relationship. She knows what's good for her. Sorry, I'm giggling at that pre at that bridge, dude. This hook feels too hard to sing. <laughs> yeah, how did you quote me on like every single Ariana Grande chorus? Honestly, though, not too hard to sing with the bye bye for this one. But that's so funny that she would say something like that. Cause like, is it hard for her to sing? Like, I don't know. I feel like everything is kind of just effortless for her when it comes to singing. But okay, she's being honest. She's opening up. She's like, no, sometimes I do have a little trouble hitting those falsettos, whistle notes. Oh, but it's better than repeat. Oh, wow. Hard to sing, but better than repeat. Maybe there's like a double meaning on there. You know, even if the relationship's hard at the time, it's better than repeating the past mistakes that you've moved on from her writing. Pen game, baby. Yeah, that's a bop, dude. That's so much fun. I mean, the chorus take, takes full front and center on that one. Wow, loving all the hits too, all the kind of theatrical kind of strings as well. As much as I do love Trapiana with the little trap hi-hats and little beats underneath it, this is feeling maybe a little bit more, more like matured. I mean, clearly she's talking about like taking over her own, you know, relationship, saying, hey, I'm getting my stuff, you know? I'm getting my Gojo plushies, body pillow, and I'm dipping. Also, who's Courtney? Uh, Courtney Chipotle. Uh, Ch Chipotleone. Chip it's her bestie. It's her best friend. Talking about her longtime friend coming to pick her up, or metaphorically, oh, that's cool. She's picking her up like in the driveway, but also picking her up like emotionally. Okay, I gotta, I gotta keep going. Next one, baby. Don't want to break up again. Why are we already? Are we, no, we're not. We're not. No, we're not. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, I fall asleep crying, you turn up the TV? Yeah! Dalton Gomez, count your fucking days. Big day in the morning, so I take my time to self -soothe. Get your chakras right. Oh my god! 
God! All of the changing chords and the modulations in that bridge just cements the feeling of like being in this confusing ass relationship, dude. Sorry, situationship. Sorry, marriage. And she's still trying to be considerate saying in the course, I don't want to fuck with your head. It's breaking my heart to keep breaking yours. Oh yeah, wow. Drums taken front and center, not a whole lot in the way of like mid-tone instruments with this one. Really getting the feeling that she's just speaking straight from the heart, dude. Okay, yeah, that's good, dude. Oh man. I haven't really even heard her be on this kind of like level of like emotional delivery like this. You know, usually we're hearing her kind of like belting through through these big moments and these emotional emotional times, but here she's just kind of laying it all out flat for us. It's not like the Ariana bop, you know, that like I feel like everybody's kind of like come to assume is gonna happen, but what a, just a moment in her life to, to speak on this kind of stuff. Because as somebody who also is very much like a first impression kind of guy, like dude, if you make a good first impression with me, I will be your best fucking friend, you know? I somewhat feel like Ariana might take a similar approach when it comes to her relationships. You can vibe with somebody super easily on the first or second, maybe in the first few months. Then like you start learning a little bit more and you start kind of growing up a little bit and you just kind of start like realizing that like the relationship, it was just kind of maybe puppy love fluff in the beginning, but you just are on two separate pages too much. Yeah, so far, this album feels much more personal than something like Positions have been so far. And here we are, moving into the next track, already an interlude. Saturn returns interlude. What? Saturn? From One Piece? She's caught up to the manga? Ariana, you cannot be spoiling out here. Come on. All right, tell me what the planets say to you, girl. Tell me, what are they saying? When we're all born Saturn somewhere, and the Saturn cycle takes around about 29 years. That's when we got to wake up and smell the coffee because if we've just been sort of relying on our cleverness or relying, you know, just kind of floating along, Saturn comes along Ooh. and hits you over the head, hits you over the head, hits you over the head and says, wake up. Whoa. It's time for you to get real about life. We're short circuiting. And sort out who you really are. Oh my god, that transition, wow. Oh my god, all the glitching, the freaking neural link is it's glitching gl out, bro. Oh, oh my goodness. So what I'm getting from this interlude so far is that she's been trying to move on, she's been trying to make sense of this, but now she feels like she's being beat over the head with this Saturn Returns. Also, who is that speaking? Diana Garland? The first thing she says is, when we're all born, Saturn's somewhere. Yeah. I think it's pretty fair to say that like, whenever you're born, everything is kind of somewhere. Right? I love that like instead of like a therapist or like, you know, some kind of like relationship mentor or something like that, Ariana's like, let me go to the closest astrologist. <laughs> let me lay underneath the stars and make sense of what my life is. That's how I'm gonna get through this shit. Wonderful. And then the outro, wake up, get real. The next track is the title track. <sighs> Eternal Sunshine. Oh, that synth pattern. I, I don't care what people say. We both Ooh. know I couldn't change. Oh, the, you. Oh, the hat. I guess you could say the same. Wait, she's back. Can't read the range. True. Oh, I've shit. never seen someone lie like you do. So much even you start to think it's true. Ooh. Get me out of this loop. Yeah, yeah. So now we play a Scenes. Now, now she's in my bed, laying on your chest. Now I'm in my head, wondering how oh. it ends. Oh, girl, you can't keep, you can't think about that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am sorry. I am sorry, Yana, what did you say? Yet you play me like Atari? Oh, that boomer is coming out, baby. Now it's like I'm looking in the mirror. Hope you feel all right when you're in her. Wait, there's a little 8-bit noise after the Atari bit? Hold on, let me go back. Let you play me like Atari. Now it's like I'm looking Ooh, yes, that little Oh, wow, wow. 
world. I'm sorry, but that's just a fucking hit, dude. <laughs> I don't make the rules, kids. Now it's like I'm looking in a mirror. Hope you feel alright when you're in her. Oh, the, dude, in. the dissonance in the harmony when you're in her. Oh, because she knows it's uncomfortable to think about these things, so the harmony is literally diatonic. Wow, that's crazy, Ariana. You're insane for this. You're just my eternal sunshine, sunshine. Oh, bridge. Break, okay, shake this faith. We ride deep breaths, tight just life, death. Ooh, I'm sorry, she's sliding. Oh, break, okay. All right, folks, this is where we play the game, the Ariana Grande game. How many vocal layers does this song have? I'm taking numbers one through a hundred. If it's more than a hundred, I'm gonna have to see this vocal project, bro. Oh my goodness, dude. I just don't think anybody really does vocals like Ariana, and I know she tracks them herself. It is a beautiful artwork to witness her do this. I'll be the first one to say I'm sorry. Now you got me feeling sorry. I showed you all my demons, all my lies, that you played me like a Ari. The first verse is so sad. We both know I couldn't change you. I guess you could say the same. Can't rearrange the truth. I have never seen someone lie like you do. Mm. Kind of wild that like for a chorus that's kind of all kind of centered around, you know, ending on her finding her eternal sunshine. So much of this song is just seeped in like pain and like tragedy, wiping her mind, realizing that she's never going to be able to fix this person that she fell for. In the first pre-chorus, she's laying in my bed, laying on his chest. In the second pre-chorus he's laying on her bed laying on their chest oh. let's move on to uh the next one <sighs> i gotta take like deep breaths in between each of these songs wow this album is heavier than i thought it was gonna be <sighs> we move on into dean and sam or sorry sam and dean supernatural my boys a lot of filtered intros songs so far kind of start all the same a little bit Crystal Palimpsest. Okay. Ooh. Little low energy. being possessed not crazy in love with the kick and snares combo but yeah that's fun <laughs> whoa okay i'm gonna need a longer version of these songs <laughs> They're, they're great. I mean, so far, I feel like maybe this is the one that I'm like at the bottom of my totem pole so far, but this one was cute. This one was fine. Not a fave, not a fave so far. Micro on me. Well, here my bitch ass is re-listening to Supernatural and absolutely loving it. Maybe the lighting is affecting it. I don't even, I mean. Like, I don't even, like, dude. I forgot to even like mention in the video. <sighs> This is all post thoughts. This is all post thoughts. Her pronunciation's gotten so much better. It's crystal clear. Thank you, Wicked. Thank you, Theta. But I will still say, on the fact of Max Martin kind of doing his Max Martin thing, I miss the guitar. I miss it. I do. I do. The R&B's still there. The Trapiana's still there. She's just got some real shit to talk about, dude. And maybe that is really why Max felt like, let me take the back seat. Let me filter a lot of this. Let me kind of just make room for for her to speak her truth. What is she talking about? She does say in the first verse, it's crystal clear, I, but I, yet I am still confused. I want you to come and claim it. Okay, so she's telling a supernatural entity to come and claim her soul, her body, I don't know. It's like supernatural. This love's possessing me and I don't mind at all. Okay, the love is possessing her. The next one though is true story. True story. Facts. This is a true story about all the lies you fantasize. So many lies. I, this is a Ooh. true story fantasize. about all the games 
Is she teasing? Ooh, that bass. That bass is, is uh, I don't know about the production in this one, dude. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of does feel like reputation with the beat a little bit. And I think that's why I'm kind of like not loving it so much. I'm sorry, but like, I don't know. It might be a grower for me. It might be a grower, but okay. Wow. Again, so short. I think so far the the only like real issue I'm kind of having that's kind of coming into frame into focus right now is that maybe Maximilian wasn't the best choice for every song. We've heard so much of Max's production prowess over like his career spanning 30 years, I'm pretty sure. It just kind of feels like, I don't know, it's not really like serving like the narrative, like what she's kind of saying. Like, I just feel like the vocal are kind of carrying a lot like a lot of the heavy lifting production is kind of in the back maybe that's intentional maybe it's just meant to kind of be background stuff because she's like really speaking her hard and like laying it all out on the floor for us but personally as an enjoyer of other Ariana Grande albums, I would love to hear a, a, just a little bit more interesting kind of production elements in there. Not not crazy about the bass. No, Max should not retire. All I'm saying is that I feel like she... <laughs> Y'all are so dramatic, okay? <laughs> Relax. This is a true story. Another one that I didn't really initially love, but now when I come back to it, it's just so tasteful and beautiful. I will say, I still think it's a skip, only because, and I'm gonna back this up because with my theory of skip, the theory of skip is that it doesn't have to be a crazy weak stronger like your most hated song when you when you say skip a lot of times for me it comes down to the power of the two songs that are side by side it being too powerful to ignore back to back too powerful and when i see supernatural and the boy is mine with true story in between it i'm sorry toby cosign the next song is the boy is mine she's claiming what is hers who trapiana Max, I'm sorry. I was not familiar with your game, sir. Oh, it's so 90s. That's why he's good at it. It's because it's 90s, bro. <laughs> he was actually cooking back then. If y'all can see my legs right now. Bro. stutter the stutter oh i love it oh my god oh yeah that's good the boy is mine he is truthfully he's he's all yours <laughs> i know what you're into ariana it's the goofs it's the goofs dude she loves to laugh okay if somebody can make dude i'm telling you somebody can make ariana grande laugh i, I think my i think my life would actually kind of be complete i think i could just like go out into traffic and just like and if i made ariana grande laugh cars passing me not even like touching me at all. Literally using Gojo Six Eyes Limitless Power. Nothing's touching me. SpongeBob. Please, editor, whoever's editing this, please put a sexy like mogging SpongeBob over here. Oh, please. Yeah, that's uh, that's so much fun, dude. That's just so much fun. I love how like in the pre, she's kind of like, she's still singing and then as soon as she gets to the chorus, she kind of like, 
locks in. She just kind of slides on this dude. The boy is mine. Almost like there's a period between each of the words. I cannot wait to try him. Let's get intertwined. The stars, they align. Again, stars in the sky, astrology. The boy is mine. Watch me take my time. I can't believe my mind. The boy is divine. The boy is divine? Divine intervention? Oh my goodness. Solely the honor. The holy sponge. I have nothing against Ethan, by the way. Literally nothing at all. Couldn't praise him more. Like, if you told me that I could get up on a Broadway stage and portray a character that has brought joy to so many people, you bet your fucking ass I'm, I'm gonna do that. I would be in yellow fucking makeup <laughs> by the end of the goddamn day. So don't give me any shit about Ethan, okay? He's great. He's fantastic. And if he makes her happy, that's all that matters. Boy Is Mine is so good. Kind of saucy, 90s kind of aesthetic dripping all through it. Well, now we have a, uh, I can't help but feel like a little bit of an out of place single. Uh, yes and. I do have a soul video re reacting to this on the channel, so if you wanna go check that out, feel free to. Link right there. I mean, y'all know, let's just jam, let's just jam. Let's take a little, take a little time, have a little fun. Dude, I'm not even, <laughs> none of the songs have sounded like this so far. <laughs> What was she doing with this single, man? She's like, I gotta get him like at least a little hype. I gotta get him, I gotta get him dancing a little bit. Yeah. It is fun. It does kind of lift you up in the in the album for sure. Dude, I don't think this song is bad at all. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Such a fun time, such a fun little tune with a great music video. Go check out my original reaction to it, dude, because that shit was, that was a lot of fun, man. Wonderful, like, rollout cycle, by the way, too. Loving just, like, the one singular single. Then we get the album in no time flat. Really think she knocked it out of the park with this one. Maybe a couple little things could have been cool. But at the end of the day, here we are, baby. I know, yes, I see Chad, I see you. There is a music video for this one. Yes, I know. We will be watching afterwards. The next song is We Can't Be Friends. Parentheses, wait for your love. Foley, we're in a movie, we're in a cinema. I didn't think you'd understand me. Oh, we're in the back of a party. We're in another room. How could you ever even try? Oh, this melody. Oh, I've already got goosebumps. I don't wanna oh. tiptoe, but I don't wanna hide. But I don't wanna feed this monstrous fire. Just wanna <sighs> let this story die. And now we are right. Oh. We can't be friends, but I'd like to just be. Tornado of strings. Oh, I heard that little flute cascading up into the back. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Um. Hello, Mr. Dobie. Hello. Everybody this hi. is Patrick Stewart. How are you liking the program so far? Uh, next one. Okay. All right. I wish I hated you. Okay, I don't need you. That's beautiful. I'm clothes in the closet you made. Your shoes still in boxes, I send them your way. Hoping life brings you no new pain. I rearrange my memories. Bill. 
world is so nice. It's like her brain is trying to create the circuitry. I love the production in this one. Just the fact that it's that little beep beep boopy a thing, it makes me feel like it's still playing off this like effect of like the trying to recircuit your brain and she's trying to convince herself that she wishes that she hated them. Oh, production by Ilya, dude. I wish I hated you. I wish that weren't true. Wish there was worse to you. I wish you were worse to me. <laughs> Bring the cat back! Bring the cat back, please! <sighs> Sorry, Toby. Using him as a tissue. Probably not what he had on, on his docket for the day. Oh, but did I have weeping on my schedule? I did, actually. Yeah, that's just like a different level of heartbreaking. So thanks. Thank you. Oh, wow. Hitting me this first verse. Your shoes still in boxes. I send them your way. How fast was he out of that bitch? To still leave his kicks? I'm sorry. That would have been the first thing I grabbed, bro. Our shadows dance in a parallel plane. You got genius doing geometry. Look at this. Oh, you got me doing geometry, girl. I'm telling you, as soon as I finished listening to Eternal Sunshine, I went all the way back through Ariana's albums, and I did not hear anywhere close to the amount of honesty and emotionalness as this. Like, maybe only on, like, Thank You Next did it get, like, this kind of heavy, life-altering, life-reporting kind of album. In a big way, like somebody said on stream, uh, like, a Thank You Adele for the divorce album. This is, like, her divorce album. And, like, seeing all of this through these, like, sh like glasses of e Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, it's in it's incredible. It's just, and it is getting absolutely shat on, on AOTY. So, like, I don't, I don't, I guess, I guess I do kind of understand where it's like, you want Ariana to pop like that. Mmm, radio, uh, yes. The girl's been through the fucking mud though. Like those rumors tore her up. It is clear, but we have this beautiful, nostalgic, like 90s influenced, beautifully interpolated, beautifully influenced album now. And I can't help but just feel thankful that she took this so seriously, dude. I'm sorry, editor. I don't know where you're gonna put this at the end of the day, <laughs> but uh, Coconut Head over here, he's got some shit to say, dude. The next song is Imperfect For You. All right, how many more times am I gonna weep? My boy, come take my hand, throw Ooh. your guitar in. Clothes wow. in the back seat. And we got the guitar. My love, they don't Dude, understand. second guitar in the I'll entire hurt in album. The box here beside me. How <sighs> could we know we'd rearrange all the cars? Oh, wow. These chords and the melodies. Yes. We cross and we burn. The tension. Now I just can't go mm. where you don't go. Music theory, Anna, throwing us crazy melody curveballs in the imperfect for you chorus. I love it. Don't know anybody else who could really pull something like that off. Going out of scale, like so purposefully for a song like this. Yeah, I'm sorry, but she's she's a genius. Oh, wow. Oh, I love that she didn't do it on that time. Let's go. Such a reflective kind of like moment. we crashed and burn. I know we'll be there for each other. Is she referencing her old albums? Oh, yeah. Fucked up, anxious, too much. With the three part.
Wow. Dude, that's crazy. This would be so hard to sing live with auto-tune because she has to go like out of the scale. Wow, dude, that's wild, man. This is the kind of questions that I have when producing a song like this is how do you choose where to like make the quote unquote like mistake, right? Like how do you make it imperfect? Like clearly she's going to a different scale, but like why that scale? And why does it, as it resolves, feel like it still kind of fits into the chorus? Like my music theory knowledge only goes so far, but wow, man, and you're saying she did do this live on SNL? Holy shit. Oh, it was on a track. Yeah, see, that's... Okay, yeah, that's a creative choice. That's definitely a creative problem-solving measure. Interesting. Imperfect. I'm perfect. She is saying that she's imperfect for you for him doesn't mean that she's not perfect for her own self and for her new relationship. Glad that we crashed and burned. Dude, just that lyric in the bridge, I'm glad that we crashed and burned. I know we'll be there for each other. It's just so healthy, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm almost, like, baffled at the fact that she's being able to voice all of these tragic happenings in her relationship still with the frame of mind of being, like, healed and good and no drama. I mean, for gosh sakes, dude, I can't even imagine what it feels like to go into a different relationship. We're talking about Ariana Grande here. You know, losing one of your partners, Mac Miller, rest in peace, to then go on to be treated. Not even really, she's not even say, say, saying that it was like crazy poor. Like, yes, there's lies. Yes, there's deceit, of course. I don't know how deep it goes. At the end of the day, it still feels like she's like made peace with this and she's moved on and she's trying to heal. That's an artist, dude. You want to know what, you know what Charlie XCX is talking about when she's talking about artistry, how certain artists don't have artistry? It's this, dude. This is artistry, bro. That's, she got it, bro. But all right, the last track. Featuring Nona. Okay, Nona, finally. She's going to be the first Nepo grandma, I want to say. <laughs> Let's go. Ordinary things. She's going to be spitting some knowledge for us. Oh, mother, grandmother. Yes, love me some horns. Come on. Big brass fan. I'm so let me run that back. I'm sorry. One more time with the trap hats. We could go pop all the champagne in California. We could have a Makase in Tokyo if you wanna. Ooh, Omakase? Hit up on the slopes in oh. matching snow suits. Ooh. We can hang out at the roof all night if you want to. We could spend every day. Dude, this could just be about me, bro. I'm just trying to hang with Ari, bro. Let's go with the matching suits. Kind of sounds like you're saying ordinary, not ordinary, but ornery thing. Okay, I, it's, 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 I like it, I like it, it's fine. You see this wholesome energy we're ending on? Oh, and I hear those those vocals still going on in the back. And when he'd come home and I'd see him and the physical gets off that train, it was like God Almighty arrived. Oh shit. It was like seeing daylight. I mean, I could have packed up and left a million times, you know, it's not that we never fought. You can overcome that. Oh, wow. You know, it, it's... Oh, this is a knowledge. Easy. And that's, I told her, never go to bed without kissing goodnight. It's the worst thing to do. Don't ever, ever do that. And if you can't, and if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you're in the wrong place, get out. <laughs> Dude, that's some real shit from Nona. Oh, never go to bed without kissing goodnight. And if you can, you don't feel comfortable doing it, you're in the wrong place. Man, truly spilled. That's beautiful, man. You know me, guys. Big fan of the whole voice memo outro for the album. Yeah, it's been done before, but it's just nice. It's nice to kind of get a little peek into like the personal life over here. Damn, dude. So much of her personal life, I feel like, is is kind of expanded on a little bit in this album. And I, and I can't help but feel for it, dude. When he'd come home and I'd see him, when he gets off that train, it was like God Almighty arrived. Oh, that's love, baby. That's love, baby. And that's it. That's a wrap. This is my Keith Lee Ariana Grande report. This shit is fire. 
okay? I'm not, it's gonna be hard to move on from this. I know Beyonce is, is coming in, in two weeks. This will be difficult for me. This is emotional. Truly, so emotional. Part of me is like, I might not come back to it as frequently. Then I picture myself with the vinyl. Mwah, I'm there, I need it, I need it. So, get in, if, if it wasn't your favorite, I totally get it. I've realized I am such a huge positions person. Like that's my Ariana like to go to album just because it's so fun and just, she's, uh, she's crazy. She's wild on that album. <clears throat> but for real, like we're talking artist growth. This is such a tasteful step forward. Truly, I do hope that for the next album, I actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna leave zero expectations because I don't wanna box her with, the, with an expectation like that. I don't think after something like an album like this, it's even fair to do something like that. But like music, like Charlie talking about like the, the, the artistry, like yes, this is the artistry, but does the music bop? I favorited eight, eight tracks. I feel like I'm fucking Robarazzi, dude. This just in, Ariana Grande is back. This is my final thoughts. This is just, this is how my brain works when it when it comes to an album. After we kind of end stream, I fucking smoke a J and I just kind of like, I don't know, I just get passionate about this stuff. But anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble, guys. That's what you pay the big bucks for, baby. Anywho, yeah, comment your favorite song. What the fuck? <laughs> Eternal Sunshine by Ariana Grande. Can confidently say I did enjoy the album. Is it her best album? Time will tell. You know, only time we can really tell with these things as they sit with us. But uh, does she kind of take a little bit more of like a matured emotional stance on this when it comes to her personal life? Something that I've never really heard from her before, at least at this length. Yes. Yes, she does. Well, thanks for tuning in. If you want to see this entire video uncut, unedited, you can check it out on Patreon. I'm going to be writing my review on AOTY. So go and you know, follow your boy over there as well as my other social medias if you're feeling quirky. That's gonna be a wrap for your boy as well. I just got this big old grin on my face after listening to this album, dude. Man, wow. Okay. Music video is gonna be on Patreon. We're about to watch it right now. But uh, yeah, as always, stay happy, healthy, and strong. And I'll see you in the next one. <gasps> bye bye. Boy, bye bye. <laughs>